Dan Tower. Um, we're on Dan Tower Farm. This farm has been going since the 1850s, fifth generation, and 160 acres. These peaches here are actually ones that, you know, will be on Lexington shelves tomorrow after they pick up at the Clinton Bailey Market. All the pickers are the mainstay of the whole farm. It's definitely an art. You've got to be able to go into the orchard and decide when you need to pick. They look for color, they look for size, and they look for maturity. Decide which peach needs to stay for a few more days and which peach is just ready to come so we can take it to market. What about the other block? You think the other block will have? They're still small, they're hard, but I think they can wait a couple days. And being so dry this year, the, the quality is excellent on them. I mean, the juice will almost, you know, you got to be kind of careful sometimes biting into them. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Lexington Co-op has probably been buying since I, I've been on the farm, and it's, it's been over 20 years, I would say. So it, it's been working really well. I mean, as far as having a somebody local that would, uh, you know, buy my product. You know, bigger stores don't deal with, you know, like a small grower like myself. You know, they tend to go to the big grower. They can ship them quantities or masses of product where, you know, I being just a small family farm, you know, cannot put the volume out for the bigger stores. And the quality of, uh, you know, buying from a local farmer where they can go out and, and get the product closely to maturity than having something that may be shipped in. It's, they have to definitely pick fairly firm to be able to ship at that distance. Our product is probably as close as you can get to having something that's fresh picked right off the tree and ready to bite into and having that juice just gush all through. And you know, it, it really makes a taste difference on the product. Uh -huh. This might be an order from Lexington. Yeah. <laughs> I think sharing knowledge for us is part of our mission. We started doing film screenings and canning classes last year. People all over the country with the recession on and concerned about food prices are starting to do a lot more canning and connect to the local harvest. And so we're excited to help people sort of get back some of those old traditions. Canning is also a great way for people to buy from local farmers. So instead of just buying you know, a couple peaches that they need to eat for the week, they buy a, a bushel of peaches and then take them home and can them and eat them all winter long. It's a great way to preserve the harvest.